Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com and we're here in my kitchen with some herb plants that I uh, recently purchased and I thought I would take a moment to show you exactly how to cut these back. I do recommend cutting them back before you plant them in your container or in your garden. That simply gives the roots a better chance to establish it's, it's not a mandatory requirement, but by cutting off the foliage, the roots will establish better. And this is the same way with plants that are in bloom. If you go ahead and cut those blooms off, the roots will establish better, the tops of the plants will grow, and they will flower oftentimes more profusely than if you would have planted them actually in bloom. So first off, we have a German thyme, and what I'm going to do, I'm seeing some dye back here. Um, the typical rule of thumb is to cut off about a third of the plant, but because I'm seeing some dye back here, I'm going to go ahead and just snip. Now, I know many people have said, I can't see exactly where you're snipping. Um, doing this by myself, it is really, really hard to get a super close up. So basically what I'm doing is right behind, or I'm sorry, but right in front of a set of leaves, I am cutting like right, right in front of that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the stem and I'll show you on these bigger ones too. I'm coming as close to the, the new leaves as I can and I'm just snipping. So what comes off is gonna have all of the stem and it's gonna be right before those leaves. I really hope that that made sense I know some of you that are new to growing herbs, you may be saying, you know, well, what, what did she just do? Um, like I said, I'm going to show you on some of these other ones too. And I'm just going to continue to snip areas that I think could use a little trimming up. Okay, so that's that's really quite a bit of this German thyme plant. You can see how much different it looks. We're gonna set it aside. Um, I have been keeping these in my window seal because we actually still have snow in April here in Indiana. So, okay, this is a pineapple sage. This is one of my very favorite herb plants not only for the gorgeous red blooms that attract the hummingbirds, but the smell of pineapple sage. And I like to use it in pork dishes. So what I'm gonna do here is, again, I don't wanna to cut too far back, but I feel like this could definitely use some trimming up. So right before where those leaves are growing, you see that? Just gonna come in, I'm gonna snip, I'm going to take this a little further back because I feel like these leaves are too close together and I really want to come down there on that one. And then this one I'm going to take a little less of. So this is what, can you see where I have cut really close to these new leaves? It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's, that's what I'm trying to accomplish. And for every cut that you make, the plant is going to send out two new shoots. So it's going to create kind of a Y and it's going to help the plant bush. This is an Italian oregano. And again, I'm seeing some problems with this. Um, like this one is all wilted and dying. I've got another one over here. So I'm just going to snip and discard those, you can compost them. Um, sometimes that happens. Could have got damaged in shipping or almost anything. Okay, and do you see how, can you see how this one is kind of 
curving over. That is because it's getting tall and not bushy like it should. So this one, I want to cut back. I definitely want to get all the curved pieces of plant material off because I want this to bush. So I'm just going to go right down here again, right above the leaves. And I'm just going <coughs> to, excuse me, um, snip it off. And you see how much better and bushier this plant looks? I think I'm going to take this one back here too because it's kind of leaning. And I really want this plant to bush and not just lean over. So, and the last plant that I'm going to do today is rosemary. And again, it has some kind of curving pieces on it, some curving stems. This could be for a variety of reasons. It does not make the plant bad, not in any way. It's just for aesthetics. I don't really want curving pieces. I would like my plants to go a little more straight up and down, a little bushier. And again, just clipping off some of these stems like that. And there we have my rosemary plant already trimmed up. So these plants will now push out some new growth. They will bush here in a few weeks um, after some of the new growth starts coming on. I will watch them and when they get about the height they were this time when we started, I will again come and clip them back. And I may not clip them back quite as far. Uh, we'll see what the new growth looks like. And I will continue this all summer long. Now, the parts of the plants that I clipped off, I could use fresh in recipes or beverages if I wanted, or I could preserve them in some way. If you're new to herbs and you don't know how to preserve them, the easiest way is to dehydrate them or hang them to dry. I do have a course over on Thinkific um, on preserving herbs for winter use. That is literally the name of the course. And it shows you many, many different ways that you can preserve your herbs for winter use. Even though this is spring, you can start preserving your herbs right away anytime that you clip them. There's no need to, you know, get rid of stuff and toss it away and wait till winter because these, as you can see, that's everything that I cut off. And that's quite a few different types of herbs. And once I rinse these under uh, cold water, I will go ahead and take the uh, leaves off, except for the thyme. The thyme is really difficult and I usually dry it right on stem um, sometimes I dry them all right on stem. The one thing I will tell you is once they're dry, do not crush the leaves until you're actually ready to use the spice. It will give you a stronger spice that way and a stronger flavor to where if you crush them once they're dry before you store them, then some of that flavor and some of those oils are going to dry up and go away and you're not gonna have as flavorful of a spice or an herb as you would if you left them whole and crushed them or ground them right before you used them. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Um, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. For more content on gardening or on herbs, please go to exoticgardening.com. The ultimate website for the truly obsessed planaholic since 1998 and we'll see you on another video have a great day